New tonight, homeless hospital patients in San Diego dumped on the streets after treatment. Some of them turned away from shelters that don't have enough room. Our tennis reporter Jennifer Dela Cruz shows us how lawmakers are trying to change that. Shelters like Rachel's Women's Center here downtown tell me this happens time and time again. Hospitals dumping patients off with no prior warning when there's simply no room. They're forced back on the streets. It breaks Kim Peterson's heart to see her friend Heather living on this Chula Vista sidewalk. And this is a picture of us together. Um, you know, we become more like sisters. Constantly in and out of hospitals. She's had multiple strokes. She needs to use a wheelchair to get around. But the care stops once they let her go. She was released back to the street with a bus pass. It was raining um, with no place to go, just a blanket. Another time brought to a shelter, but turned away. Dropped her off far from where she felt safe. They took her downtown where there wasn't a bed for her. One hospital told 10 News they give patients a list of resources, but they have to coordinate them on their own. A new Senate bill would require hospitals to confirm the shelters had room before discharge. What does she need to do? I will help her do whatever she needs to do to get a house to be safe. Instead, she's laying on the sidewalk. A problem leaving the homeless in their most vulnerable state back on the streets. It's very discouraging to think that we can't do better than that. But today, Heather got good news. A nursing facility has extra room. She will never get better. She's going to be in this permanent state of disability. Celebrating her 60th birthday next month with a roof over her head. Many others won't be as lucky. We can find a solution. I know we can. Jennifer Dela Cruz, 10 News.